Hey everybody, I'm Colwyn, and I got another toy review here for you today. No skits, no story, just cool toy. Got this on my last run to Walmart. It is the Rocketeer Walmart exclusive. Now, anybody's not familiar with this glorious bit of 1940s, um, the Rocketeer was a movie that was made by, I want to say Disney, I might be wrong on that. 1991, starring Billy Campbell as the Rocketeer. Okay, go ahead and turn around in the back, and actually, it's right here. So, we got a really nice picture of him in his uh, armor suit. Well, that's, that's leather. That's an armored helmet, and that is his 1940s World War II alcohol-powered jetpack. Yes. There he is taking off. There he is kind of in a combat pose with his gun. Unfortunately, the toy does not come with a gun. It's uh, made by Diamond Select, and yet, Disney, I was right. So, <clears throat> uh, the discovery of a top-secret jetpack. An alcohol-powered jetpack. That's how it stays cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, hurls test pilot Cliff Secord into a daring adventure of mystery, suspense, and intrigue. Cliff encounters an assortment of ruthless villains led by a Hollywood screen star who's a secret spy. As in a public spy? Well, he's not James Bond, apparently. With the help of his actress girlfriend, the young pilot battles enormous odds to defeat his foes who are anxious to use the device in an evil plan to rule the world. Of course, leaving out that the bad guys are Nazis, which is kind of cool, but hey, you know, you can't mention Nazis anymore, right? This, picture, this action figure of the Rocketeer features multiple points of articulation. And oh my goodness, yes it does. Coming out in, 19, in uh, 2021, this thing is far and away. Oh my goodness, this articulation is going to be nothing like 90s figures. Now, I got this on discount. And if you go to the Santa Ana, Santa Ana Walmart on McFadden, you might find another one on discount. So, you can see here, it's, it's like in a clamshell case right but unfortunately instead of grabbing it here on the inside and opening it some of people were grabbing it here and opening it like that look at that presentation right there though this is a nice looking we got the rocketeer here in his um in his outfit and all that stuff now they have his head turned at an angle at the side to make room for his big old fin there. We got his jetpack here. We got flame accessories. We got extra hands. A different type of shirt cover. And a display stand. So let's go ahead and get him out of the box. So for reasons as you'll soon see. You're going to miss out on seeing the jetpack. So here is the jetpack. Nice up and close. It looks really nice and shiny. It could have used a nicer paint job. But if I get some right paint, I might be able to blast it with a gloss coat. So yeah, that's that's the pretty, pretty jetpack. Now, um, back to the review. <coughs> and here we have... Rocketeer out of the packaging and a uh, quick look we have the uh, extra this is the uh, shirt piece that comes on him on the back it's got these little pegs take him off the display stand and go ahead and stand him straight up he comes with extra hands and the extra shirt let's go ahead and pull his hand out of the way for the moment and that's how the shirt comes off like that the um, backpack is mounted with this plastic leather-esque harness. And it was kind of hard to jam on there, so I don't want to pull it off anytime soon. And we can see those are some really nice-looking effect parts. These, uh, unfortunately, are not blush compatible with Transformer figures. They're, uh, you know, dedicated to this. They're, they're dedicated to this figure, but still, they are very nice-looking. This one has kind of a bubble in it. That's kind of a mold defect, but uh, in this case, with being a fire flame, kind of looks cool. I like it. Uh, 
saying that he had extra hands. He's got the flat open palm one here. He's got this kind of closed fisted one here, but this isn't for punching. This is for the um, control trigger. There's supposed to be like a little trigger thing in his hand with the cord running up his jacket to operate the jetpack. Um, is oh okay so yeah this is okay this is the extra flat lane hand right here stand you up here because these hands are so similar to each other that they're sometimes hard to distinguish they're all brown leather with some nice little patchwork detailing on here it's funny is that the, these are fingerless gloves but he's got dark brown skin He's got dark brown skin on his neck, so I don't know what's going on because the character and the actor was white, but whatever. These two hands here are molded like as if he was trying to climb up on top of the edge of something, which makes sense because uh, in the movie, there's a part where he has to fight on top of a Zeppelin. So he would fly up there, grab onto the edge, and climb himself up. Let's take a look at his display stand that fell apart on me. So... Oh, that's nice and jammed in there, huh? It's a clear plastic disc with a Disney uh, Made in China DST Rocketeer printed on there. And it's got a single peg for a foot, and it's got a peg hole for the display stand, which comes in several pieces. It comes the part that goes into the display stand. This shaft can come off. But I'm going to go ahead and put that there and detach this shaft from here. And if I wanted to, I could take that part out too. They got them screwed together, so that's some aspect of quality right there. And there's screws in these hinges also. Let's get him back on the display stand. Come on. And we will talk about his articulation. He's got fairly, he's got really good articulation. Like, I'm not even going to lie. He's got the um, back and forth ankles with a swivel inside there. There's a foot peg on the bottom of each of his feet. He doesn't have a, a, a really far knee bend, but he's got enough. He's got the minimum 90 degree knee bend. There's um, an above the knee swivel. He's got these weird looking hinge swivel joints. I, I think if I could get the angle correct, I would be able to pop it off. Because it's like, you may not be able to see it on the camera, but there's like a gap in there. It's weird. He does have kind of waist articulation, but it's so, the joint is really, really strong in there. I don't want to risk breaking it. His uh, wrists, he's got a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge. He's got nice double jointed elbows. And above the elbow swivel and a universal ball joint thing up here in the arm the only articulation he is lacking unfortunately is the ability to look straight forward that that's the best you're gonna get but he really should be able to fly Iron Man style not kind of at this weird 45 degree angle and if you push his head any further, it comes off completely, exposing the dark brown neck, which I still, I don't get, I don't understand what's going on here. They could have, they could have worked in a hinge joint at the base of the neck, and that would have helped out a lot. In fact, it almost looks like it's molded for one. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I just decapitated him. <clears throat> um, um. Oh. So the original price for this guy before the discount would have been about twenty five dollars. Um. I think it's worth that. I, <laughs> I just flipped his bloody head off. Let's go ahead. I compare him with film noir Spider-Man. And yeah, 
You know, he's a little bit taller. That's mainly because of the base plate right now. Uh, here he is with with um barricade in vehicle mode, and this is dead Autobot, same mold as the other guy, and soda can. I just ripped his bloody head off. Oh my goodness. I'm sure I can get some super glue on there. In fact, I was going to say it seems wedged enough in there. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to I'm going to stop recording before I I make things worse. Should you get him? Uh, I. He'll make a nice display piece if his head can stay on. <laughs> this has been, been Coleman with, with a review of, of Diamond Select the Rocketeer. You can decide whether or not you want to buy him. Bye bye.